Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video we are going to have a look at Amazon S3. So Amazon S3 is a cloud uh, storage system and it's a very simple storage system. It's not like web hosting where you could host your websites even though you can in certain cases like uh, non-dynamic websites without databases. But Amazon S3 for me at least in my business serves the best in hosting files that has to be shared uh, in a public domain. So let me go ahead and sign into my console and show you what's inside. So this is my uh, AWS management console. AWS is Amazon Web Services and S3 is one of their products. So in this video, we are just having a look at S3. So inside your S3, uh, there are something called buckets. So I have a bucket for Digital Deepak and inside Digital Deepak, I have further folders. So here I can upload a file and this file can be shared publicly. So let's say I want to share this PDF with my audience. So instead of putting it on Digital Deepak blog, I put it on Amazon S3. So here you can see this is the URL of the object. So if I open this, it is hosted at digitaldeepak.com S3 uh, AP South Amazon AWS. So this PDF can be accessed by anyone in the world. So if I am sending out an email campaign and if I am giving out a link for people to download, I usually host it on Amazon S3 and then go ahead and give it out to people. So if I go back, uh, let me show how to upload a file. So I just go ahead and uh, have to add a file here. So if I click on add file, then it will open up my file manager. Uh, from my desktop. So let's say from my desktop, I just want to upload this uh, screenshot or let's say I want to upload this uh, image of the internship program. So internship.png uh, one file, I will click next. I will say that uh, we need public access to the object. Click next, click next and click upload. And uh, once it is uploaded, uh, you can go ahead and uh, view the file here. So here you can see internship.png, this file is uploaded. And now I can go ahead and share this file with anyone in the world. So this is the file. So here you can see it has got uploaded. And uh, the good part about Amazon S3 is that uh, no matter how much traffic this particular file gets, Amazon can handle it. Uh, it will never crash. So I see a lot of people upload their videos to Amazon S3 as well and give it as a download to people. Uh, it can be uh, shared in blogs as well. You can host it on Amazon and just uh, load it on your blog if it is an image or something. So that's what Amazon S3 is about. And uh, Amazon S3's pricing uh, is something uh, which is a little bit tricky. So I will show you Amazon S3 pricing. So here in this page, you can look at Amazon S3 pricing. Uh, S3 basically stands for simple storage service, SSS. So here you can see uh, up to first 50 terabytes per month, it's 0 0.023 per GB, uh, which means that uh, if you do the math, uh, you will be able to know how much you will be charged per MB. Uh, rather than doing the math, let's go ahead and check uh, the billing that I incur for Amazon S3 for my account. And it's usually not much. It's like, you know, five to $10 per month types. So if you look at uh, my own Amazon S3 bill, uh, it's very, very less. Uh, you can see that uh, for the storage, they have charged only one cent. And obviously they will charge for data transfer, which is uh, put as the data transfer. So here you can see data transfer is $2.26. And I also use a service called Route 53, which I will explain in another video. But overall it has costed me less than $3 per month uh, for the kind of audience and scale that I have. So which is not much. So you should definitely give Amazon S3 a try. If you have an Amazon account, you should be able to create an Amazon Web Services account. Go ahead and try out Amazon S3, try hosting the files and see how it works. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.